YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, Anne at Bella. And today I am doing a Warhammer 40k Imperium magazine review, issue 54. Now, issue 54 comes with another seven miniatures. In fact, it's very similar to an issue we've already had. So here are my Battle Sisters and obviously the Necron war machine at the back here. So obviously we've got three flying Battle Sisters there, champions and obviously a standard bearer. And don't forget we also have the Battle Sisters, Repenitor, War Machine, there. I have undercoated them white, I have coated them black. There are some white gaps, that is deliberate, because I kind of want that. And I will be, my next paint objective with the Battle Sisters particular is red. With this, it's going to be silver. Obviously, with this, it's going to be gold. So, we're moving forward in the right direction. You should have five bases of this side, one base of this size, and one base the size of a tiny finger. You should also get three of these. Don't lose them, because you're gonna need them. Here is this week's plastic crack, or plastic in blister pack. So, as we open it up, I'm just drawing your attention here. So we've got a battle sister here, and we here we have what is left of the witch elves, or the Eldar. So these are females versus females, so it's a full-on female fight. Eight ninety nine, twelve plus, not for children, obviously. So let's crack on into it. So here we have the Battle Sisters, the Fires of Hatred background information. So there we have that. And then we have Injuries and Grudges, Battle Sisters, Battle Sisters building, painting, Battle Sisters strategy and War of Faith. That's the contents page for this week. Injuries and losses, hero injuries, etc, etc. So here we have the building instructions. They are pretty easy to build, though they can be a little bit fiddly, these guys. They are definitely vegan because they're so slender. And then we have the Battle Sisters How to Paint. So obviously we've got the black coat and then the reds, which is where I am at with them. Red so on, so forth, metal, white, etc., etc. A uh, good old retribution armor, where would we be without you? And obviously these are for the flailings, yep, the repenitors. So it's really good at showing you where the detail should be which I'm really pleased with. So obviously this is this chap here. There. So it's not just the Battle Sisters it's because this is the detail paint guide and that's what it should look like for these, these and those. Sister Repenitor and the Flagrants. Then we've got the strategies that they use when in battle and the rules specific to them. Then we've got a War of Faith, Necrons versus the Battle Sisters the landing zone, etc., etc., And then on the back, next week we get the rather simple scenery of the pipes again, which is so useful. And then obviously in issue 56, oh my goodness, it's just two new paints. So it's a brown and it's administration gray. Shh, shh, administration gray. Still, it makes me want to fall asleep. But we should get some interesting information. New play rules section and, ooh, so how to use this guy, strategies for him. So that's quite cool in that one. So there you have it. Please like, comment and subscribe and a final spin of the Lazy Sue because we can. Um, we hope that you are staying safe wherever you are and we are respectful that this week is the week of Queen Elizabeth's second funeral. So happy morning, if you can say that. I don't know, how can you be happy in mourning at the same time? But there you have it, if you're from the UK. So this is the end of the video, and that is all I have to say. Oh, and don't forget, if you're living in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, that on Monday, 
there's a bank holiday and everything is closed. McDonald's is closed. Supermarkets are closed. You can't go shopping because John Lewis, Primark, they're going to be closed. Basically, the option is staying home, watching the funeral, because that's all that's going to be on, unless you want to put a film on. Who knows? Most people will probably be watching the funeral, because it's an historic occasion. But there are multiple options, but most of it involves either going for a walk, like we did in lockdown, or staying at home. But I would recommend getting food in before the bank holiday, because on the bank holiday day, very few shops will be open. So that's basically it. Bye!